um, the house manager brought these two kids in to look at the drum kit and they were high school seniors, music students. One of them was a drummer and they were getting ready to go to college. They were in town from Iowa uh, to check out a Broadway show and they found their way backstage. So I probably spent a half hour with them in the pit, just talking about the show. And uh, what struck me is the kid who played the drums was passionate about it. He knew his stuff. He had researched this. He knew every, he knew that drum kit better than I did walking into the room. So I had him sit down at the drum kit to take a picture of him because I said, sit on the throne and take a picture. And he sat and he asked me about the snare drum because we got this 20 pound cast bronze snare drum is the main snare. And I told him I pick up a stick and tap it. So he kind of went flam kick, flam kick very softly and turned around sheepishly and looked at me like, is that too much? And I looked right at him and I said, you know, you want to finish the lick, play the lick. And he played the Skylar lick with one hand. <laughs> and I asked him how he knew how to do that. And he said, I watched Andres on a video from him playing it at PASIC. The kid knew his stuff. So I had a talk with him about my background, how I found my way to where I, I got. You know, I, I talked to him and found out what his plans were. And I told him, you know, when you're done going to school in Iowa and you got your chops and you, uh, you know, you've got your skills, move to where the music is and stay in touch.